Hello, it's Ed Armstrong from the NASA Jet Propulsion Laboratory, and I'm going to talk to you about emerging data management themes at the PODAC. The PODAC is the Physical, Physical Oceanography Distributed Active Archive Center. We're one of 12 NASA data centers for archiving and distributing environmental satellite data. And if we look at the NASA portfolio of Earth observing um, space assets, there are two missions that are driving new um, engineering and requirements at the PODAC. Those are the SWAT mission, the Surface Water and Ocean Topography, and the Sentinel 6A and B, um, joint NASA ESA missions. These missions both have radar altimeters for measuring sea level rise, and in the case of SWAT, inland waters. This diagram shows the expected growth um, due to these new missions. The red bar shows where we're at right now in calendar year 2020, about one petabyte of data, but that represents nearly 30 years of satellite um, data. And in a few short years, we'll be up at four to pet pet petabytes. So this is a tremendous increase in the scale and volume of data that the PODEC must make, manage and make accessible to its user community. To address this, the PODEC is looking at the, as a, to a cloud-based uh, solution, and we strive to have a proven capability for operation in the cloud. That's for both the data ingest, archiving, and dissemination. As well as we strive to, uh, uh, we will achieve this uh, through the development and operations of cutting edge uh, data distribution tools and service in support of these emerging um, cloud-based missions. At the same time, we want to maintain efficient and high quality data publication standards by employing <coughs> the FAIR um, data and metadata principle, so that's findable, accessible, interoperable, and reusable. And we want to continue to demonstrate impact uh, of, of, uh, of our data in the research and applications community. And in all of this, we want to maintain Earth, NASA's Earth Science data for future generations to make these and synergistic data sets easily accessible, <coughs> usable, and understandable to a broad and diverse set of data consumers. So on the services side, PODEC is collaborating with NASA to develop the Harmony API, which will be a single um, point of interface for allowing the, that will allow the user to do some very simple to complex operations. So this will, uh, API will allow transformation based on user requests to do things like subsetting, reprojecting, resampling, uh, reformatting, granular discovery through a, a stack metadata catalog, as well as GIS uh, shapefile manipulation. On the bottom there, we see an example of a regrading operation um, on the native satellite format using uh, two different interpolation schemes to take it to a gridding format. So we're packaging all of these capabilities into Jupyter no Notebooks using the Python language that allow users to exercise these, these services and manipulate the data and then eventually to use these recipes and, and notebooks and extend them and customize them to meet their, their needs. So in conclusion, the PODAC is looking to a cloud-based solution to manage these new very high volume um, satellite missions, including developing a very robust services um, on top of the data that allow you, uh, users to do some very simple to complex operations, but at the same time, maintaining very high um, standards with regards to the FAIR metadata principles um, for our data sets to continue to develop, uh, to deliver high value and new capabilities to our existing and emerging communities. So thank you very much.